You may be asked to update your CCB profile. So go to mycenterpoint.tv, scroll to the bottom, click CCB Login. Log in with your username and password. And if you don't have one, you can click the Create Account down below and a password will be generated for you. If you click the Keep Me Logged In for 30 Days, it will obviously keep you logged in for 30 days. Up here in the right corner, you'll see a little avatar icon for your profile. I'm signing in on a test site, so this is test testing one, two, three. You can update your profile photo here. You can see other members of your family. If you hover over it, that's my spouse. And you can do some actions here. You can change your communication settings. This can be important. If we don't have your mobile carrier assigned to your mobile phone, our system will not be able to text you. And you can also see all the groups you're in and the types of communications you'll receive and what your defaults are in any future groups you are added to. And then at the, when you're finished reviewing this page, please click the Save Settings. Another action you can do on your profile is do your um, update your password or your username. So your username does not have to be your email address. This page is also fairly mobile friendly, so if you have pictures on your cell phone, if you log in from your cell phone, you can update your profile very easily. On the About page, you can look down here and also update a family photo. Your About page gives you a quick summary of the information on your, about your contact, and then your Involvement tab gives you a quick rundown of all the different ways you've been involved in our church database, and you can review that there. So that's a quick rundown on how to review your profile. If you were to edit your profile though, you would want to, um, you can edit for your entire family if you're a primary contact or a spouse. So if you're gonna update your last name, change a spelling or something, there's this box that says apply last name to the family. So any change you made will be applied to any family member. The same goes for your mailing address. There's a box here. So if you're going to update your mailing address, please check the box that it will apply to all the members of your family and then everybody will be updated. And then there's some other fields below that you can scroll through and update appropriately. And that is a basic review of your profile.